Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Karen Mikowski, aka Butterfly Karen. Welcome. So, welcome. Um, this is going to be a bit of an interesting chat. This is all about tarotology, tarot cards and things like this, um, tarot readings. Now, I have been doing, I've been researching this now since, I would say since 2020. Um, I mean, back in the day, I've always heard about sort of like tarot cards and things like this, but I never really paid too much attention to it because, not because I thought, oh my God, that's like the, the devil's tool. I don't think so. <laughs> Nothing's the devil's tool. Nothing. The only thing that's a devil's tool, tool is your intentions and your actions, right? And your choice to um, implement some, um, your intentions into an action. So depending on how what your beliefs are and things like this, you're a devil's tool, right? If you're into that sort of thing. Anything, an, an object or anything like that, cards, anything to do with like a divine, you know, divinity, tools of divinity or anything like that. It's nothing to do with the devil. It's nothing to do with God. It's nothing to do with anything or anyone. It's, it has everything to do with people's choice to use that particular tool um, and what you want to do with it now for me it's all about the energy energy is just it's it's great because I, I read energy but I could quite happily get a pack of cards out and um, some tarot cards and start reading this the energy and, and because I'm pulling off the energy I'm probably going to start clarifying it with the cards it's just it's reading energy understanding energy but again it's all to do with intention so I took an interest in this because I sort of had, you know, I had a friend back then who was really into it and I was like, okay, you know, hmm, interesting. But anything that piques my interest, I'm going to research it. I'm going to delve into it more. And so obviously you start by watching it. And that's kind of what I did. I was like, okay, I've got to see what the major fascination is about this sort of stuff. And so, you know, I really delved into it a little bit and I'm like, oh my God, there's like, this is interesting, right? Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, I have so many of my own opinions on this sort of stuff, but I feel like it got to a point where I thought, you know what, I need to do a, I need to do a course. So I did a tarotology course because I wanted to understand the true sort of had the dates of everything. I'm all about the history and, you know, I'm all about sort of, um, I like the history of anything. I like to understand where it really started from um, and how it went from that to the insanity today. And there is a real insane side to it. Um, but there is also a, a, a positive side. Look, I'm not going to be one of those people that's going to delve into just one area of something and just be like, oh, my God, it's no, 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 no. I don't, I'm not one of those people that I don't do double standards in any shape or form. I'm not that sort of person. If I research something, I'm going to discuss the, the great side of it, but also the, the, the really bad side of it. And I'm, I'm all about hu um, human behavior and how it affects human behavior and stuff like this. So for me, when I took the tarotology class and I wanted to understand the sort of history behind it, I, then I really wanted to sort of understand, okay, well, you, yeah, okay, I get it, but I need to delve into the human condition um, what in this sort of area that creates a weird human behavior and how effing addictive it is. It is really addictive. Mm -hmm. That's one of the, and you've got to really be a strong minded person to not get addicted to that thank god i mean i'm really stubborn i'm a so I'm, i don't have an addictive personality because i'm too stubborn to have them anyway so it's great but that didn't mean i got i had to be addicted for a while to understand the addiction side of it i had to take myself down that weird sort of cultism uh, rabbit hole of the world of sort of well the insanity of tarotology today sort of like tarot card readings and things like this and yeah i mean i get it People have really sort of capitalized on on the internet of tarot card readings and things like this. I mean, you can make a lot of money. Um, but do you open yourself up to a real cultism? Of, yeah, absolutely. Um, do you open yourself up to very ungrounded people? And you will definitely open up yourself to, unfortunately, the mentally unstable people too. So 
but I've only learned that by really sort of researching and, and watching people in the comments and reactions to readings and collective readings. I mean, I, I did it to the point where when I really started sort of, yeah, like 2021, bought myself a couple of packs of tarot cards because I thought, well, I'm already an energy reader. I've already done my tarotology because I wanted to really delve into it. I can't talk about something if I don't do it. I got to, you know, so I really had to get involved. And it was like, I mean, even I'm put, I'm, I was able to pull my cards on me and I'm like, oh, check me out. And then, okay, that's cool. Not a lot of readers can read their own sort of cards on, the cell, on themselves and things like this, but I kind of know my, my destiny anyway. So, but I sort of practiced on myself and then, you know, I, I, there's a few people in my community and th yeah, that I thought, you know, why not, um, why not? They love it. So why not give them, you know, I'm still an energy reading on them. And so I, I, I tried, you know, I, I gave it a shot. I did it for about a year. Well, no, not a full year because I started to like, God, um, I'm a bit bored. I don't like, I don't like using the tool to, I just didn't like where it was going because the thing I really understood was there's a real positive, there's a real energy intrusion to it. Now, never once did I ever sit there and in, 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 in my sessions were so, sort of visual anyway, you know, I'd do videos for people and, you know, those sort of readings, but had they ever asked me to, oh, can you um, do me, a, can you pull the cards on this person? I would have told them to piss right off. That's called energy intrusion. And any reader, any reader or car reader that ever does that for another pet, uh, for, takes money to pull the cards on somebody completely different. It was not like that. Your, the person that's paying you is your client. You pull the cards on them only, that is it. If they say, if they ask you to pull cards on somebody else and you do it as a reader, you're going to lose your abilities because it's energy intrusion. I realized very quickly why people do it, how easily you could do it. But I, I obviously I'm really stubborn about that sort of stuff anyway. So there was no way anybody was ever going to be able to sort of like convince me to pull the cards on somebody else. I don't think so. I'm going to pull the cards. I'm going to pull them on them because they've asked me to. So um, that's a big problem in the, in the world of teratology, big time. You can, you can sort of see that um, over the years now, I've been sort of like monitoring and watching and, you know, unfortunately watching a lot. <laughs> A lot, a lot of readings. I've had to watch a lot of collective energy readings and obviously readings of my own Scorpio, you know, my sign of Scorpio and stuff like this. And do you get cross Oh, I'm just having those cross watches. I should you know there is something quite wrong upstairs with people like that. They, it's weird that if they can't get readers to pull cards on people, they'll just cross watch and figure out what's Scorpio or what's Libra, something like that got, got, got coming up. Well, first of all, they're not personal readings. You're talking about when people are pulling the energy on the Scorpios, right? Just using me as an example. You're talking about a full collective of Scorpios, like millions of people, right? So, and, but the people who are cross watching are like, oh, I hate this person. This is what I'm talking about, unhinged people. I want to see what his or, his or hers um, future is looking at so I can figure out a way to sort of energy intrude and destroy it. Mentally, mental cases, mentally ill people, right? something wrong upstairs and they need therapy and I highly recommend therapy for these people that kind of do this sort of stuff but it's it's huge it is huge it is so rampant now over the years I've sort of talked to people like what do you think about tarot card readers and they're like oh my god I don't believe in all that kind of crap good you, you well you know it's not so much you don't have to sort of believe in it it's just and most people don't most people don't sort of believe in that sort of area of any reading energy and stuff like this, but it is, it's just a tool. It is a pack of cards with pretty pictures on. It's understanding the energy, pulling off the energy from the cards and reading the energy. That If you understand energy, you'll understand how you can use the cards, you can use dominoes, you can use anything. Like you can play with anything and give a reading from it because you, you, it's all about the energy. You're reading the energy. Not the object, not the inanimate objects and stuff like that. So, but it's it's also it's fun. But there's a fun side of it too.
but I've so so I when I speak to people like I don't believe in all that kind of crap and I don't I can't tolerate people or, or into that sort of stuff and how how unhinged do you have to be to be, to run your life and live your life by tarot card readings people do people not me <laughs> I'm a researcher <laughs> so, but I've had to sort of watch a lot a lot oh god <laughs> so this is why i'm able to sort of talk about it and what's right what's what's really good about it there's some really good elements to it but what's really bad about it and um it's 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 weird it's a weird little world and, and there's a and it's a real cult too like you can gather that many people so many people into following a way of life through the world of tarotology and living your life for it, paying to have readings, paying membership fees, and pay, it's well, it's no different to like OnlyFans porn, is it? If you're into porn, you're gonna pay people, you're gonna pay a whore's rents and make them rich. Well, this is what people do with the world of tarotology. They do the same thing. They make people. It's a living for people, so they really buy into it. They, they do literally pay into it, but they run that they live their lives based off it. Like, oh my god, I've got to, I've got to get a reading tomorrow. Oh my god, I've got to get a reading. I've got to see what's coming up next week. I'm like, oh, okay. Why don't you just I don't know. You know, like the element of surprise? Because I don't. Oh, even though I know my destiny and I know what's coming, I don't exactly want to know what's happening tomorrow. I still like, I'm still very sponta spontaneous when I want to be. But it's just weird that some people's minds are so fixated on readings and things like this so now you have a world and a cultist world of tarot readers and the followers and the membership payers and everything and the you know the customers clients so now you've got the great readers out there who are really good at what they do and they they, under, they understand the gift the ability they've got and they also know the rules you do not abuse it because you lose it you abuse it, you lose it. It's as simple as that, like anything. Um, and then you don't get to piss and whinge about it when you've lost your ability to read the cards or read energy because you've been blocked, because you're abusing your ability and you're probably doing harm or you're just stealing people's money, right? Because there's a lot of charlatans out there and this cult world of tarotology is full of charlatans. So that's a big problem in this um, in this field. But then you've got people who pull cards and they the energy intrude these are the problem areas of the realm of teratology they, they only abuse their abilities to read energy and then obviously use the cards to read off but they have, they're good at sort of manipulating the people's minds because you, you know you to really sort of be heavily addicted to carrot tarot card okay tarot card readings well, you would have to have a bit of addictive personality, but you would, I feel like a lot of sort of what I've sort of seen um, by watching people's comments is that real weird low self-esteem. You've got people with major low self-esteem listening to collective energy readings to boost their esteem. That's not how that works. And you cannot build your self-esteem through teratology. It's you've got to do work on you. You've got to work on you. You've got to work on healing you. And if that need, that means you need to go and get get therapy to heal, you're not going to get healed by tarot card readings, please, people. This is where there's a lot of ungrounding going on. So but some people do this. Um, so that's really, there's a lot of people that do that. Then there's a lot of people, oh, God, there's a lot. Mm. <sighs> there's a lot. <laughs> Eyes rolling. <laughs> There's a lot of people that are actively trying not to laugh. Who watch it every day? So addicted that they're waiting for their their counter um, no not counterparts or whatever. Yeah, possibly. Oh, counterpart coming! Oh my god, twin flame shit! I can't, I can't do that twin flame stuff. One, I think that twin flame journey, understanding it's it's incredibly off the charts. I don't like it. I think it's really bad. I think the, if you're focusing on 
the idea of meeting your twin flame, no offence, but most twin flame journeys, if you want to sort of understand it, they're not very, they're quite dysfunctional because um, the, the, the whole sort of twin flame journey is in some ways real narcissistic, um, sub submissive. Like there's a, a, an element of you have to submit to your, your, your twin flame if your twin flame's coming, whether you're a man or a woman. Um, you've got to do this and you've got to do that. You've got not, you don't have to do anything. If you've got to feel like you've got to do something that goes against the infringement of your free will, and that's what I don't like about this whole twin flame bullshit that gets that is really fed into the world of tarotology is you've got to really sort of give up your free will you, you don't give your free will up to anybody or you'll find and, and this is where it gets quite scary and this is where it's a problem area for me to sort of observe and watch is reading people's comments and you know watching sort of interactions with each other like I'm with my twin flame. Oh my God, it's been like crazy. I mean, he cheats on me all the time and he beats me up, but I can't, can't leave him because I'm a twin flame. That's not your fucking twin flame. Let's get that right. <sighs> Look, the twin flame journey, apparently, it's like the soul journey of, for me, I believe in the counterpart. There is one. We have a counterpart. It's the other half of us. That's it. You only get one of those. These twin flames, apparently, there's like multiple of them. That's why I don't believe in it. I don't like it, right? Because that's not really how that would work. Can we all have soulmates? We can meet many soulmates, but there can come in formations of soulmates, loved ones, um, friends, and things like this. But believing that you truly told yourself you believe this person you're with who's abusing you is your twin flame, and that's why you, that's a cop out. That's not your twin flame. Because the one that's really sort of meant for you, there's none of that. The twin flame journey is like, it's it's a real challenge apparently. And again, I'm going off research, but it's all to do with, oh, it's so hard. I feel like I've been waiting for my twin flame. I've been on this twin flame journey for 30 years. What are you doing? Why are you spending your life edging towards a twin flame that might not actually cross paths on your timeline in this life experience? It's really weird how people get really... Mm, it's just it, and then they meet people who are like minded like them like oh, i believe you're my twin flame i believe we're twin flames i feel it too and then all of a sudden you're in a toxic relationship or marriage and you're how did i get into this i thought you're my twin flame you're not supposed to hurt me the, there are people out there they're called narcissists and they these narcissists We'll actually delve into the world of spirituality and take that narcissism with it, into it with them and become spiritual narcissists. They're looking for weak-minded people. And in this realm, in this world of tarotology that people are so addicted to, you are the prime, you are prime meat for them. These are energy vampires. These are the worst types of people. And they will, they will literally like mirror to you what you're looking for. Apparently, I'm just like you. No, you're not. Well, thank God there's nobody like me. <laughs> so that would never work with me. But people out there are a little bit more weak minded and insecure and things like this. Who are, oh my God, I'm still on this twin flame journey. And, and really believe because I keep watching all of these readings day after day after day. Oh, it's coming, it's coming, she's coming, she's coming. It's like, oh. Yeah, it's, it's that seductive, is a real weird seduction to the addiction of tarot card readings. But look, you've got to go into this and enjoy it for fun. You've got to, if you want to um, get into the realm of sort of tarotology and, and, you know, watch some stuff and just, you know, hey, that, that sounds familiar. Oh, I feel like I'm going, I feel like I'm dealing with something like that. That's something that's resonating. The whole reading's not going to be for you personally because you're talking about these are collective readings for everybody. So you've got to just sort of take the little bits like that resonates. That's interesting. I'm actually dealing with something like that. That's a little bit of confirmation like, well, at least, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I'm dealing with something like that, but 
uh, I'm still going to maneuver my own mind and my own actions. I'm not going to listen to the, the, tar the tar tarot cards or the message that's coming off and start altering my life around it. I don't think so. So that's big. That's a problem in the realm of tarotology. That's big and it's addictive. Now, when people sort of get, um, you know, they're like, oh, that resonates. I, oh, I feel like this, this reading's for me. Then claim it. They do claim it, literally. And they really put their two cents in two in the comments, and it's great. But that's just, what about tomorrow when it's not going to resonate? What about the next day and the next day and the next day? And, and, you, and you, it's when people become a bit ungrounded, like, well, oh, the other day, last week, I was supposed to meet my one, but it didn't turn. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, last week, I was supposed to be wealthy, rich and everything, and I'm still broke and paying into paying for readings and I need to pay my rent. But then you've got the the worst types of people that like to spy on people. So, again, I call these, these are the cross watchers, as we all know. But these are the people that will literally, again, Hey, other readers, practitioners, you know, not, I'm not talking just online. I'm talking about like in reality too. They'll go to readers and go, here's 150 bucks. Pull the cards on this biatch. I want to see what this biatch is not coming in. I swear. This is a problem with women. This is a real weird problem with women. Men are like this, uh, are bad at this too, but the majority is women. Oh God. Very dysfunctionally. But again, not quite right upstairs, most of them. But this is their attitude. Pull the cards on this biatch. I, I hate this biatch. This is the attitude, and I'm being sarcastic with it. But I want to see how I can give me a good idea of when it could be so I can destroy this biatch's life and stop this shit. They really believe they can control someone's destiny. Ugh. Unhinged, mentally unstable people. These people need therapy. So. They'll actually spend hundreds of dollars to get the inside knowing because even the readers don't know exactly when what's what's coming for somebody unless the energy intrude in. And the moment they do that, they're going to start getting blocked. Then they're just going to start lying to the clients going, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I've got an update on that one, but you're going to have to come and see me. Sure, what's going on? 200 bucks. That person's been blocked. Now they're just pulling cards and lying but i always say that's a little bit of karma for both of them so one's still a charlatan and a thief and the other one's just getting a lot of crap fed to them so this is how some people live in the in the realm of tarotology it's weird you can use like there's, there's areas that you could really use it for healing like if you feel like i mean there's like you've really got to sort of delve into it to understand that there's some readers out there that use the cards that can give you a heads up, like, you know, if you're feeling like this, then you might need to start a healing journey. It's never, a, it's never a bad thing to promote helping people heal. But they are not doctors. They are not professional, licensed therapists and things like that. They are not solicitors, lawyers. They are not um, financial advisors. People go um, to these readers for financial, oh, for the love of God. Oh, God, agnosty, agnosty. Oh, thank God I'm a God. I'm a Lamb of God. I'm a Lamb of God. Thank God. <laughs> because um, you've got to be very grounded. But people go to these lens, the extremes of, Getting readings for finan financial advice, legal, like they, they hear something legal terms. Oh my God, that's it. I'm getting, you know, oh my God, I feel like I need to get a lawyer. What are you talking about? Are you, and then you, you have to ask yourself, are you going through any legal in issues right now? Are you dealing with anything that would warrant legal um, assistance or anything like that? Well, no, but the reading I literally watched said, I'm being sort of, I'm dealing with this. Oh, for the love of God turn it off but you can't because these people unfortunately are incredibly addicted and that's their sort of like life and they're all they all believe like oh my my love of my life's gonna walk through that door 
as if you love the light, your love of your life, don't even know where you live, right? So that's not going to happen, is it? So there's got to be a feel. It, look, it should always look into this as fun, right? And again, there's no, there's no, there's nothing bad about healing and using. You use it for clarity of what you already know intuitively. No, mm, that's interesting. I've done it myself. I've watched one and go, oh, good Lord. I feel like I just got kicked in the gut. That resonated. When I'm getting kicked in the gut, that is, there's parts of that like, oh, I'm, oh, yeah, I'm very aware of this because I already know, but I just got the clarity. That's how you've got to do it. And then you let the rest go. Oh, I, God, but they don't. No. <laughs> Here comes a tarotology derangement. All of a sudden, when you sort of, and when you're researching like me, and you've got to sort of monitor the state of minds of people and the human behavior that goes into, that they implement into how they interact with one another based off a of reading. Oh my God. I mean, you've got obviously your trolls because they're just pathetic little creatures and most of them are little robots anyway. But those that are real, a very again unhinged got nothing else going on they're just designed to sort of like there we call them the little fucktard debunkers that they're, they're, they're there to just do a little, little whatever right they're just off the charts but there is there are there is mentally unwell as the others but just in a different way so they're creating a, a, a very negative atmosphere in that chat in that sort of like little interactive chat so now they're creating arguments and fights for no reason but there to do that that's what they do right um these are unhinged people and that's kind of what they do but then you've got so you've got all of this crazy negative real major negativity happening in the comments and then that's not right you don't know what you're doing that's not about me i didn't do that's like hang on a minute calm the f down the reading isn't about you because it's a collective, but they take it. They take everything they're hearing in that reading and turn it and making it into something. It's not making it about them, making it their story or making it their. It's weird. And that's the unhingement that that's how it's huge. It is huge. And then all of a sudden, when they don't get the result they want or anything like that, it's like, we hate you, reader. You're stealing our energy. Oh, for the love of God. It's like, I can't. I can't. So. When I'm watching that, it's like this is this is the evolved human behavior we've got going on right now. This is as good as it gets. It is off the charts. It's unhinged. Um, and again, you've got your narcissists in there fueling the fire of creating and causing chaos. And you know, you can literally oh, they're they're there. They're very spiritual and there. And especially when you're doing these sort of live chats. Um, these readers that do the live chats, I actually give them credit because if they're really good at it, you're interacting with hundreds, maybe in thousands of people in your live chat and you're reading for them. There's a lot of negative energy you're going to be pulling off their energy. And if they're literally like, I hate you, evil eye, evil eye, reader, evil eye, right? <laughs> I swear to God, deranged. <clears throat> but they will do that. Little witches, warlocks, all that can crap, right? But they're like, I like to go here to send negative energy and energy harvest whatever it is that they think they can do with the reader so all of a sudden if you're sort of watching the reader halfway through they're going to start getting um, a bit agitated you can literally slowly when you're understanding how this sort of drains someone's energy or sending energy attacks through a screen, which again, it's not really, you can't really send it because it's all about, it's just, you can feel the negativity because you're interacting with so many energies. Um, but you can sort of feel, you can literally see the draining of that reader and it's like, cut it off now because now you're going to have to reground yourself because you, you, you're talking to hundreds of ungrounded people. The most majority of them are great. They're, they love it. They're your members. They're amazing. They're your fans, they're your followers, but the small percentage are literally ruining that whole joyful atmosphere because that's all that they are bitter, twisted people, very unhinged, mentally unstable, bitter, twisted people. 
And that is what's wrong in the world of tarotology. And I know for a fact that most readers would agree with me. It is a problem. I see it. I watch, like, there's a few. I have my favorites now because I've been doing so much research that I found energy readers that are absolutely amazing. Um, but energy readers, like, and I will even name some of them because I think they're great and they're worth, so, as a reader, though, not, I'm not talking about reading cards and I'm talking about real energy readers. And I would say goddess energy, she, she's Australian. She's absolutely, I, I absolutely love her energy anyway. I love her, but she's an amazing energy reader. Astro, is it Astro Man? Like he's Australian. So Astro, I think he was Astro Man or Astro Dude or something like that. Long dark hair. Um, he's brilliant, but I think he's more for the Libras. But it's really weird because when I sort of came across him, I didn't realize I was listening to a, a Libra reading. So there's something about the Libra in my chart somewhere, right? But again, I'm not really into it like that. But I can't, usually I'll sort of come across him and go, oh, hello there. Where did you pop up from? So there's a reason why it possibly pops up in my feed. He's brilliant. Brilliant energy reader. They do, they tend to do the work before they do the reading because it's about the energy. Linda likes tarot. She's brilliant but does she take some shit from people well no she doesn't take shit she has to deal with a lot of shit from some idiots you know again but she's really good i enjoy sort of so there's some that i enjoy watching um and there's a few more but when i remember them i'll i'll put them in another video i'll, I'll add them to me in the contents box but they're a free of my favorite i was just watching one oh what, what, i forgot his name it's terrible i'll i'll get his name but I like their energy. It, to me, it's all about the energy. If I like their energy, I'm going to watch them. Then I'm going to monitor them and see if they're really good at what they do. They're freaking brilliant. And, you know, I can see why they've become successful, but they are so honest. Like, it, when I'm sort of watching, I don't feel like for a minute that they're getting, oh, God, what's the other one? She's, ah, uh, is it Vision Goddess Tara? I think it is. She's got, she's like, she's got like, she's a, she's a white woman with like dreadlocks. She's amazing. Um, <clears throat> she's great. I like Ezra quite short, but again, I'm researching these people and I'm researching them for their, I'm researching their abilities to, and they're brilliant. Um, and there's another one, but I completely forgot her name. But there's not, but so I have a few, a handful of my favorites. That is it. The rest, I'll just be like, oh, interesting. That's okay. But I sort of, I see the difference. It's, it's the energy. For me, it's energy. It's not about what they're doing, how they're making their living or anything like that. It's not about that. It's not about the cards. It's about the energy. And it's also about how they try and help people in their interactive sort of readings to energy readings. So I like that because they all, there is something in it, you know, that I like their honesty. <laughs> I don't care how cutthroat it is. I don't care about the foul language that flows, the expression of what's been, whether that, how the language is expressed. I don't care as long as it's truth. I don't care how you express it. So that's why I like them. Um, but you can feel if you're anybody like me and I'm incredibly high, highly ascended and yeah, I understand how energy works. I, I, I literally, I am it. <laughs> I work with it, but. I can sort of see who the frauds are, the charlatans and the real deal. And to me, they're, they're the real deal when it comes to energy. So those I feel really positive, even though I have to sort of watch them sometimes and I think, oh, my God, why are you putting up their crap? <laughs> That's how I feel like, oh, for the love of God, Linda, just tell them to F off. <laughs> but not gonna. It's, but that's how interactive it can get when you really watch it or i won't always watch the lives because I, I always kind of miss them anyway um but i have noticed that more so when i'm watching sort of when i if i find like what let's just say when i'm watching linda likes terror right <clears throat> she does hers live and i only catch it afterwards once you know every once in a while i'll actually oh she's premiering okay well I, and i just popped on so see what's going on why not, right? Because I, I like Linda's work, like, like Linda's little readings. So, and 
I only have to be there watching for about five, ten minutes, and I'm feeling like, oh my god, she's got some right little energy vampires in there, little in the comments, and I can feel them pulling off her energy. So, but you know, you you kind of that's what it's like. This is so I have a I have a lot of respect for her, don't, you know, when she's and their hairs are over an hour long, and that's a lot of energy to be sort of like pulling off your energy. That are really delving onto, oh, Linda, what's going on? That sort of thing. Um, but I can see the frustration in her sometimes too, because and and then and it's always the same. Like it, it's not just them. Every single time I come across a video of any, and I'm doing the research, the fact that they have to explain if it's not for you, let it go. Don't make it fit. This is a collective reading. The fact that you've got to explain that over and over again, you probably, I would not be explaining myself at all. Right? So just put it in big bold letters in your contents box. Entertainment purposes only. If you need financial advice, get financial advice. Meet, you know, go to the professionals. Medical advice, legal advice. If you need any of that, you go to the, you go to the professional license. Those, right, you just don't, you don't go to your tarot readers for it, for the love of God. But I feel like people, a lot of these readers feel like they have to reiterate in every single video. I mean, how that should tell you all you need to understand about the people watching you is that they are so, most of them are dumb. And there's a real gray area when you're sort of dealing with very stupid, ignorant, dumb people because they should not be the ones watching anything to do with energy or tarot card readings because they are the ones that are going to blow everything out of context. They're going to get offended. I mean, really offended by it. Oh. Again, this is the, there is a, a great side to it and you can really, you know, delve into the, the good side of it. It's like anything, but you, then you've got the, the other side of it and it's like, God, seriously and you can t it's weird as well because you come across the angry people like why are you so angry you, the reading's probably nothing about you or for you and but then that's why they get angry because they didn't get what they wanted to hear from it and it's like well if you want it why don't you order a private reading right that's based on your individual energy only they can't understand the the concept of a personal reading is for you of your energy only. A collective reading is for multiple hundreds, thousands of people, right, in the collective. But they don't do that when they're watching it. They go, no, this is about me. Well, it's not about you, is it? Clearly <laughs> not. Get a private reading. So, and then when they don't hear what they want to hear or get anything from it, they get angry. And then they're going to shoot the messenger. Well, not literally, but yeah, it's weird. So <clears throat> here we go. <clears throat> so yeah. Um, but then there's an evil side to it. You've got to be very focused and careful as well because you'll get. You get so you, there's an area of people because it's a real cult. There are people on there that are absolute ops. These are these are these, when I call when I say ops, and I don't really like to use that. These are your literal satanic little worshipping fucktards. These I don't care what you believe in. You can believe in who and what you want, but I don't have any respect for satanic worshippers, devil worshippers, because those people tend to be very bad. Right? Intentions are bad. Actions are bad. So. And they do everything in the darkness, in the, and they go to the dark side. I don't like any of that, right? So, and I don't have to either. And I don't have to respect any of them. I have to respect their belief. Okay, well, you believe in what you want, but have at it. But that don't mean that to respect what you, no, no, I don't think so. But these tend to be, um, you trolling little ops. I mean, these are the extreme ones too. They will, they will literally gang stalk card readers, tarot readers. They're designed, they have a little mission. Right? So, get on the get on the target. Destroy them. Uh, like depending on what they're sort of into as well. They'll do they'll do voodoo. They'll they'll 
implement and practice their dark magic and weird magic and everything towards, again, energy infringement, energy attacks. They'll, those are those people. You go to YouTube and you start researching the world, the realm of the world of tarotology and you start really delving into those comments and who's interacting. You've got your little, you've got your ungrounded people. You've got your sensible people that will just do it and enjoy it for fun and really get something out of it. Um, you've got your heavily mentally unstable people. And then you've got your satanic worshipping ops that are there to just discredit and destroy steel energy. And then you've got your scammers. Oh, for the love of God. That's why my comments are off. <laughs> God. What I learned from this research is being any sort of influencer on YouTube, you do, I would not recommend you keep your comments on. Find a different way to interact with your fans and your followers. But then again, I'm a bit different because I don't do my videos. My videos are not designed to be interactive. Mine are for education and entertainment purposes only. They're not designed to be an interactive video. You're learning knowledge or something new from me. You're not, I'm not, I don't design my videos to be interactive and go, let's have a, an open chat talk. talk. I don't think so. I'm not interested in anybody else's opinion about who I am, what I do, and why I do it, right? I do what I do as an, uh, as an educational tool, so something you can learn from, something different. You might like it, you might not, but there's nothing there for, to be telling me who, what, if I'm wrong, what I'm supposed to be. I don't think so. No, that's not what my videos are designed for. That's why I don't have millions of followers and things like this. So, um, but tarot readers in this realm of tarotology, for them to really sort of mon uh, capitalize and really monetize everything from the, you know, what they get from their subscribers and members and things like this and their viewers is, it's all, they had to have their comments on, but man, do you attract the worst types of people? And then you've got your scammers stealing the photos. Oh, you'd be amazed at all this like content for that's on YouTube. Keep your, I don't recommend. But again, if you need to monetize off the, off your viewers, you're going to have to keep your comments on. If you don't need, if you're not there to make money from it, like I don't do my videos to make money at all. <laughs> no, don't even have a large viewing. I don't even have social media. So it's what I do is not about that, but it's my platform. That's it. But if, um, if you want to really monetize it, you would have to get interactive and then it opens the door to scammers. I mean, don't get me wrong, my content does get stolen by scumbags. But, um, and if I ever found out they were monetizing my intellectual copyrighted, because uh, my videos are my intellectual property, my copyrighted intellectual property. So I ever came, somebody re downloading the videos and reusing them and monetizing, I would sue the fuck out of them. Absolutely. I would absolutely 100% take them to the cleaners and get my lawyers involved, right? Because that's copyright intellectual property theft. Now, that's just why I do what I do and I protect myself in so many different ways. But uh, tarot card readers, they, they are so, it's, it's, a, it's a door that's open. Like, it, it, you know, you gotta be very, you gotta expect it. You're going to, people are gonna steal their thumbnails and everything. Oh God, it's because people are create, creators less. They, they have got no creativity. They are just lazy disgusting clout hungry people that's it lying cheating stealing thieves that's it that's what most people are on the internet today so um they've got no they've got nothing going on upstairs they've got no intelligence they've got no creativity so but and then they they're the haters oh god you've got your haters oh the love of god and then you've got your haters <laughs> it's like i felt like i was going somewhere with this now you're poor tarot readers right um they you've got your haters and oh and when you come across those in the interactive live chats and things you know oh god no it's not even worth it so but i give all credit to the brilliant tarot card readers at energy readers that read the cards i give all credit because you've got to do put it with a and put it with a lot of crap and some really weird people and they you will have your haters it, it you can New levels, new devils, new creators, new haters. It's just the way it is. The more 
creative, you're becoming more popular and the more successful you become, you're going to attract bits of jealous, twisted little haters got nothing going on in their lives because they're boring people. They've got nothing. Haters, right? Just ignore them, people. Now, so that's covering all of those sort of areas and what is wrong with it. You can take good guidance if you want to, but you've got to be sensible with it. Um, now you've got tarot card readers that are very, um, oh, my God. Oh. I'm sorry, I just, just got a agnosty, agnosty. When I speak about these people, these are absolute in evil. Now you've got a, this is the dark side of teratology. You've got the worst types of witches pulling cards, energy, intruders, the worst types of warlocks, whatever they're labeling themselves, satanic worshippers, the most evil, darkest people, right? They have their platforms. They are, again, remember, tarot card readings, they are so seductive. So if you're pulling in a crowd of un un very ungrounded people, it's a good way for them to pull them to the dark side. The readings and the energy is completely the different opposite to the others. If you do enough research, you'll start, you'll feel it before you start hearing it. Anything that comes out their mouth and what they're reiterating and what they're pulling on, if you understand energy and read energy, you will feel it like, oh, my God, you should be in prison, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> I don't care what comes out of people's mouths. I'm not watching videos. I'm reading energy. And if I'm zoned in on that person, I'm probably going to start reading a lot more about their inner energy, and I'm going to start getting an inner understanding of that person because I profile like that. and. I sit there and I think you should you shouldn't be pulling cards. You should not be allowed to be. Um, you're too evil, and evil is a choice, not a condition. But it's weird because they have the influence of the weak minds. They're influencing very weak minds. That's why it's dangerous. That's why I don't like these people. But you can't do anything about it because they have a right to the same platform. Um, but that doesn't mean not to like it. So usually, I'll come across one, and I'm like, oh. God, I'm like, oh. and my my face starts scrunching up. Like, you know, I'm around really disgusting, very bad, horrible energy in a human form. I don't always have that face, but if I, if you ever see me looking at someone like God, that face, I am in the vicinity of very dark, probably evil. Very nasty, toxic, narcissistic energy. I feel it before I react. But I don't have a poker face. So I can't hide when I'm around very bad energy. So if you're not sure, if you're ever in my vicinity and you're not sure someone around in the same vicinity is bad and you start to just observe my face and I'm always right. So, and then I'll just leave. <clears throat> I don't stick around that kind of crap. So those energies. But I do. I come across certain readers during this researching period. I'm like, oh, my God. I cannot believe you have a fan base of 2 million people. Oh, my God. You should. Mm, okay, well, you should. You can do what you want. But you were able to influence very weak minds. That's, that's dangerous. Um, and these people are very good at it. So, And these are also your little ops that will gang stalk other readers and try to sort of defame them defame their characters and all that kind of thing they're just off fucking charts people are not normal right in the realm of teratology it is off the charts in so many different ways it can be great but the rest of it is just off the charts dysfunctional not normal and it's really bad so you're going to be very careful when you're delving into this sort of major rabbit hole of the world of tarot card readings and tarotology and stuff like this. Um, you can really have fun with it too if you want to. But you cannot be using it to guide your life. That's not how this works. If you want to use tarot card readings to help you flow and guide your life path, then you need to find yourself a card reader and go for inter personal one-on-one -on -one card readings. You know, you need individual readings for you 
on, based off your energy, not the collective, your energy only. But I don't recommend you should be going to any practitioner for anything to go through life, you, you know, guiding your life path. You have to find it yourself. So because the beautiful thing about life is it changes every minute of every every single, every second of every day, things can change. Um, if you're planning your your next year, the next 12 months bit on based off tarot card readings, who's to say you're not gonna get you're not gonna die tomorrow? Hey, we've all got a death date. So they don't they don't know when your death date is. <laughs> so, so I don't feel like anybody should be planning their lives around tarot card readings for the love of God, no. So it's it's a weird it's a real complex world in that realm of tarotology. And I get why some people stay the hell away from it. Like, oh no, I don't like that kind of crap. Yeah, I get it. Okay. That's okay. That, that's the pe people's pe personal preferences, right? Um, but I, I, I remember sort of like, oh, you know, I, I, for me, tarot card readings was not for me. I mean, I was doing it for a few months and I just thought, ah, oh, you know, this is not, this is not my way, <laughs> right? This is not the tool I use. I don't really need a tool. I just go straight to the source, like, I'll zone in on your energy and give you that reading. But, um, and I do, again, my intuitive intelligence videos are all about the collective energy, but what we need on a highly intuitive level. So, but you can go to my videos to understand that. Um, I'm an energy reader, a re but I'm a, a channeler of the different higher dimensions and a channeler of the most high anyway. We've all got access to that. You've just got to learn about it and really delve into it. But if, you're, if your integrity is not good and you're on the dark side, you're not getting any intelligence like that any, any, from the higher dimensions. They're not even going to entertain you, right? Talking about higher dimensional species, more intelligent than us. They can spot the little satanic worshippers and little freaks like that trying to steal information i don't think so <laughs> just to go the world of tarotology so so i do things very differently but and i have my own ways of doing stuff and i like that some tarot card readers bring their own niche to the and styles and everything and that's kind of nice too but then there's a lot of negative readers on there like uh um they the readings are always a bit negative like it starts off good, like oh this, oh this sounds nice and positive. By the end of it, you're like, you're like shit. Oh my god, stop watching tarot. When you start, <laughs> like, God, I'm only researching. But when you start <laughs> having to watch something, and then you feel like shit after watching it, you've got to stay away from the world. The tarot card readings online, it's not. That's that's when you're dealing with a very negative person that is an energy reader, and they use the cards, or just a negative card reader. Probably zero self-esteem. Probably not. They probably hate themselves and they put that self-loathing and self-hatred into their readings. So you feel it. Again, when you do what I do, you're pulling on, you're feeling the energy. It's like, what is wrong with you? Get a grip. Why you, you should not be, why are you so negative? Why are you putting your own self-loathing negativity into your readings and how, I don't get it, but hey, each to your own. I feel that too. So, but so if you're watching someone online that's really negative and you're feeling a bit, God, mm -mm, don't watch, turn it off, watch something else. If you come across um, someone, and again, most are readers, but the energy feels amazing and soothing and you feel like a sense of healing from it, you, that, the tran you, that person is literally transferring energy into the airwaves and you can pull it in. So... Again, you can use it for healing modalities too, a healing method. You can really, but again, it's your intention. Now, don't start automatically going, okay, energy transference, great. Okay, well, I'll just, um, now I'm feeling it. I'm going to send, I'm going to send my shitty energy right back. I'm going to send the evil eye. Okay, why would you do that unless you're just a piece of shit in human form? So you can't be entertaining the beautiful energy and then sending your evil eye because you're jealous, right? You just go, you work on your own insecurities at that point and work on yourself because you need to. Which is why they won't even do that sort of stuff. But that's people today. And I'm a truth seeker and a truth speaker and I don't sugarcoat anything to do with the truth. So that's my truth and that's my findings. But um, again, you can really, you can really work with it, you know, really, 
play with them. Well, not play. That's the wrong way. That would be encourage the wrong people. But, again, you can use again, it's energy transference. So you can learn a lot from it. You can pull it in and heal from it. You can, I mean, but don't live your life from it. You're not, don't plan your life around it. That's not what tarotology is about, and that's not what energy transference is about either. So you just have to sort of go into this with a, an open mind, an open heart, and a grounded mind. If you're not very grounded, that's what you need to work on. Yeah, I mean, research, it's been a few years now. Oh, la, la. It has been a, a weird little you know, rabbit hole journey, really delving into it. But I've seen a lot of people I know, too, that are into sort of card readings and stuff and really into this sort of how they... I, mm, I'd like to just sort of like give them a little slap on the face and go, what are you doing? This is, no, this is not real. This is not reality. It's a, it, you can escape. You can use it as an escape, right? But like living your life around it, literally spending too much money on it and things like this and feeling, no. You've got bills to pay. You pay your bills first before you start that kind of crap because before you know what you're going to be, you're going to have a, you're going to be in debt. So, and there's just many reasons, like, there's just, I have many, many reasons, but it would probably take me a lot, hell of a lot longer than um, an hour and eight minutes already, which I'm probably going to close this out at. Just watch it sensibly. If you're into sort of tarot cards and you want to watch it and things like this, just watch it sensibly. Have an open mind. It's not all about you, right? Everything's going to be for you. But um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't start. Um, in putting your two cents into the comments with the other people, because you're gonna you're gonna start having arguments with people. It's online, right? It's, it's another online. It's like social media. It's another on social media tool. It's just a little bit different to Facebook and all that crap. So I got rid of that. But you're gonna have online fights with people you don't know because your beliefs, etc., and everything you like or what you don't like, it's gonna differ to everybody else's. And rather have than constructive conversations with people, they don't do that online. Right, you're not going to have that, but you probably end up coming out with every single time you interact with people, you're going to start feeling negative after it because you're dealing with negative people and you're putting negativity into. I don't interact like that. I might have the odd message for God, you know, um, the the readers I'm talking about I might put something once in a blue moon. Like, oh my God, that hit me in the gum in the gut. That's thanks for that. I'm always thankful and grateful. It was just it resonated, so I'm gonna. But that's it. I don't interrupt people. You're joking, right? <laughs> so that's that. Um, I mean, there's some tarot. The tarot. I mean, I did a tarot tarotology course. Um, can let, I mean, you, if you're going to research anything, learn the history first. So, and again, tools of divination. They are not the fucking devil's work, you ignorant, stupid people out there that really believe everything to do with cultism or the occult or anything. It's all to do. No, it's not. Nothing is to do with the devil. Anything that you have, whether it's a Ouija board or anything, any tool, cards, it's nothing to do with the devil. It's not the devil's work, right? These are just things. These are tools, right? It's like remote viewing. It's a, it's a method. Of communication channeling it's nothing to do with the devil i don't believe in the devil i don't worship cowards like most of you satanic worshippers do i don't worship cowards at all i'm all about that most high thank you very much so nothing to do with that it's nothing to do with the devil the only thing that these literal tools of divination have to do with the devil is you individuals that use them and your intentions you put into them and what you actualize from them it's your peoples that are into the devil, not the thing, not the tool. It's what you do with the tools that you make it evil. That's why you resonate with, oh yeah, this is the devil's tool, is it? Is that because you, that's what you're into? How would you know that otherwise? <laughs> and then you're gonna what? Project that, project your behaviors and what you're involved in and what you're into to every single person because you do it. Everybody else must be also into the same thing. I don't think so. It's intention and then actionalizing your intention. So you're just ignorant people that need a metaphysical education more than anything. Other than that, have a great day.
enjoy the realm and the world of tarotology can have fun with it too i mean some of those people can make you laugh as well it's great um and you know i might do a, a once i've finished my research complete i don't know when it will be i will probably do a part two so i'll just put this down as a part one i'll probably do a part two at some point and we'll see what else we get get from this little rabbit hole of god really.